Well, hello, this is Miss Heard from Miss Heard Song Lyrics. We're in season three, episode 117. We're doing our first ever CeeLo Green Miss Heard Song Lyric. And the Miss Heard Song Lyric is, Although they're playing in my church. And then the correct lyrics is, Although there's pain in my chest. This is a shout out to our listener, Gregory Heard from Houston, Texas, for this Miss Heard Song Lyric suggestion. Thank you, Gregory, for listening as well as providing the suggestion. I used to sing this song at karaoke bars back in the day, so 10, 11 years ago. And depending on the bar, if you were able to sing the clean version or only clean, sing the clean version, they would have forget you. And if they were cool with you using profanities, then you would get to sing the fuck you version. So let's talk about the song Forget You or F.U. as some people might know it. It was actually a song by, Amer by American recording artist CeeLo Green. It was also written in collaboration with Bruno Mars, didn't know that, The Smizzingtons and Brody Brown and produced by The Smizzingtons. And it was released on August 19, 2010 as the first single from Green's third solo album called The Lady Killer in 2010. So let's talk about CeeLo Green first before we dive into the song itself and all the details about it. So he was born Thomas DiCarlo Calloway, born on May 30th, 1975. Of course, better known for his stage name, CeeLo Green. He's an American singer, rapper, record producer, and businessman. He's known for his soul music and, of course, with such hit singles as Crazy and F You or Fuck You. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, or Hot Atlanta, Green came to initial prominence as a member of the Southern hip-hop group called Goody Mob. He then started a solo career, releasing two albums on Airstar record label, one called CeeLo Green and His Perfect Imperfections in 2002, and then CeeLo Green is a Soul Machine in 2004. How he became into prominence was his next project called Gnarls Barkley, a collaboration with DJ Danger Mouse. I love these names. And then in 2006, the duo scored a worldwide hit with Crazy, I Think You're Crazy, which reached the top five in 20 countries, including the US and the UK, uh, with Couple. And then 2010, Green continued his solo career, and he actually um, released two albums, 2006 Platinum Selling St. Elsewhere, and then 2008's The Odd Couple. And then with that, of course, he went to The Lady Killer, which has this single, and it spawned his biggest solo hit, Fuck You or Forget You. The song peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and reached the top 10 in 13 countries. And then Green had released three solo albums called CeeLo's Magic Moment in 2012, Heart Blanche in 2015, and CeeLo Green is Thomas Calloway, as well as two reunion albums with Goody Mob, Age Against the Machine 2014, and Survival Kit in 2020. So from 2011 to 2014, he actually was a judge and coach on the American reality TV singing competition, The Voice, uh, appearing on four of its seasons. He also voiced, I didn't know this, Murray the Mummy in the 2012 animated feature film, Hotel Transylvania, and also appeared in a few television programs and films, including his own show, CeeLo Green's The Good Life on TBS. And then he's of course been in many commercials, uh, including 7UP, Duracell, Eminem, many others. His work also earned numerous awards and accolades, which we'll go into in a bit, including five Grammy Awards, a BET Award, Billboard Award, and Brit Award. So he's done quite well. So what's the inspiration? What was this song about? I mean, I'm guessing it was a gal that he had a crush on maybe throughout growing up. And of course, she didn't give him the time of day, but now things have turned since he's doing quite well. He did an interview with a British film culture website called NME or New Musical Express. And in that, he said, in addition to it being about heartache, obviously, the song was also about the music industry itself. So I bet you the fickleness of it, I'm, I'm guessing. That makes sense. So, of course, I kind of tapped into it, but this title of the song has many versions depending on where it's played. You know, if, if most radio stations can't play the profanity version, of course, it's F you or forget you. So they say there's a lot of versions that are released out there. The version of the song edit to remove swearing, which is broadcast in the music video on UK television stations and played on the US radio is called Forget You. That's how I knew it. While the UK radio edit is entitled F You. That's pretty good too. All three versions differ in, in the, the lyrics and content with Fuck You being completely uncensored. Forget You replacing the profanity with sound effects, also changing Fuck You to Forget You per the title, and F You replacing them by editing out completely and leaving blank spaces and changing Fuck You to an enunciation of F You. All three versions can be found on iTunes, and both Fuck You and Forget You are included as an extended play, which features the music video and lyric video, and was released on August 19, 2010, 
whereas FU was not released until September 21st, so there's some different versions of it. CeeLo also performed a remix of the song with an all-American female backing band named Scarlet Fever on the Colbert Report back on November 9, 2010. And then the remix was entitled Fuck You, Fox News. The first full version of the song was a, of course, parody of Fox News controversies. A fifth version of the song entitled Thank You was released on May 9, 2011. This song was rewritten with new lyrics as a tribute to Five Parties because, did not know this as well, in the lyrics mentions that CeeLo's mom was a firefighter. So a new version of the video was released with scenes of CeeLo visiting a fire station. So that's pretty good aha there. So let's touch about the music video. Have you seen it? It's cute. If you go into YouTube, you can find it on the internet. So um, the lyric video it's for Fuck You was released on YouTube back on August 19th, 2010. And it features, I guess you could call it kinetic typography with the lyrics of the song appear on different colored backgrounds with film grain overlaid on the video. The same thing was done in German and Spanish versions of the video, translating the lyrics, although the vocals remain in English. The actual official music video was released on September 1, 2010, so 11 years ago. The video was directed by Matt Stosky and was filmed at Cadillac Jacks, a movie prop diner located in Sun Valley area of Los Angeles. And it put, takes place in a diner. And essentially, when you go through all of it, it's young CeeLo, you know, teenage CeeLo, older, and then when he comes back, where he's pining for this gal, which is always dubbed in the video, the heartbreaker with quotes. And each time, he, it just never gets, you know, her attention or she when she gets attention, she doesn't treat him well until the last part where he's back in his Cadillac with his backup singers and back to that same diner. She is still working there looking sad. And he's like, forget you, I'm moving on and I'm doing quite better. So it's, it's a great, you know, redemption song right there. So that's what the video is. The radio edit version of the video contains reshot elements that have been mixed with parts from the original, most only with CeeLo on the screen. He's singing alternative lyrics, but he's not shown singing the clean lyrics in the chorus. Great to know. Some parts of the video tend to freeze for a split second when a lyric is being mouthed to prevent the lips from being read. They called it boulderized. I've never seen that word before. At the start of the explicit version and clean version titled F.U., the mother of the young Celia Green can be seen to look very shocked and taps him on the shoulder to make him turn around when he first swears. This does not happen in the clean version titled Forget You. So be on the lookout if you're seeing both versions. As the taping of this podcast episode as we speak, it shows on the YouTube version. It was uploaded on YouTube on 9-28-2010. It's a little bit over 51 million views. So nothing to scoff at, that's a lot of views. How did it do? Well, I kind of talked about it earlier that it did quite well. It received a lot of acclaim from music critics and was an international commercial success, making it, like I said earlier, top 10 in 13 countries, including topping the charts in the UK and number two on the Billboard Hot 100. In the US, Fuck You or Forget You debuted at number 69, that's funny, 69, right? On <clears throat> Hot Digital Songs, and number 96 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song originally peaked at number nine in 2010, but following CeeLo's performance of the song at the 53rd Grammy Awards, Fuck You had a resurgence in popularity and climbed back up the Billboard Hot 100 charts, reaching number two in the 26th chart week, making it one of the slowest climbs ever to reach number two position, tying it with CeeLo's previous 2000 hit, Crazy, from his musical duo project, Gnarls Barkley, at his highest charting single. Hey, it doesn't matter. Like I said, slow and easy. Still wins a race. He still made it up to number two. And then the week of March 24, 2011, the song was the best-selling song in the USA of 2011, having been sold 1.865,000 times in 2011, only despite the song never reaching number one and being released in August of 2010. Pretty cool. And then in the subsequent week, the song surpassed 2 million copies in sales in 2011 alone, Bring it sold to 3.707 thousand copies. Wow. Then the week of April 16th, 2011, the song topped the pop songs radio airplay chart in its 25th week, completing the longest journey to the summit in the rankings of its 18 year history. And then at the 53rd Grammy Awards, the song was nominated for Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and won Best Urban Slash Alternative Performance. The video was also nominated for a Best Short Form Music Video. It was named the number one song of 2010 by Time and made the top of Metacritic's user polls. Didn't know that. 
Spin and The Village Voice, Paz and Jop, critics poll named F.E.U. or Fuck You, the best single of 2010. And then in October of 2011, uh, New Musical Express, the British, like I said, website, placed it at number 112 on its list of 150 best tracks of the past 15 years. Many performances done, but the one is my favorite near and dear because I love the Muppets, is when CeeLo had performed the, 50, uh, the 53rd Grammy Award on February 13, 2011 with actress Gwyneth Paltrow and several puppets provided by the Jim Henson Company. Two days later, he sang at the 2011 Brit Awards alongside UK singer Paloma Faith. So lots of great information here. One of the things I did forget about when I was talking about him earlier is he has had a string of controversies, unfortunately. Um, several accusations of sexual battery, one in particular back in October of 2012, and then being late to the April 2011 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival, and supposedly having his microphone audio cut off, and that's when he stormed off. And then in June 2011, he tweeted to a journalist who negatively reviewed his performance, stating, quote unquote, I respect your criticism, but to be fair, people enjoyed last night. I'm guessing you were gay and my masculinity offended you. Well, fuck you. Uh, not a good choice of words. He did, you know, later apologize, but you know, sometimes in this case, bad publicity hasn't always been good. So I haven't seen him lately, but you never know with Mr. CeeLo, he might pop up somewhere and have another hit, but lots to learn here. Didn't realize the collaboration with Bruno Mars, also understanding where the song ranked and how it's done so well, just taking its own sweet time to number two. And he has, you know, stint on the voice and maybe we'll see him somewhere else. You never know. So I appreciate again, the listener suggestion from Gregory Heard from Houston, Texas. If you have a suggestion that like, hey, I haven't seen this song wrong. I want Miss Heard to talk about it. Give me a shout out. Great, send it a, a message or direct message to any of our social media sites, or you can send us an email like Mr. Gregory did at Miss Her, that's M-I-S-S-H-E-A-R-D songs at gmail.com and you might have your song be talked about. So please, please, please keep singing those songs wrong. Bye!